So, Garth, you, you live on the island as well. Yes. How much does that suck when you have to go over and get, like, actual groceries? There's uh, no way Lawrence would get on this ferry. It was rocking all over the place on the way in. He's got no gas in it. Are these gas? <laughs> they can't be. I just knew that information. It was ingrained into me. We will go five miles an hour. <laughs> Come on. Doing the pageantry. <laughs> Welcome back to Fraser Brits. I'm Natalie. And I'm Julie. And you may remember Julie from such episodes as grilling on an open fire <laughs> with the Fire Fork 360. Yes. But also, if you remember, you'll know that I took Julie to England back in March. Yes. So I'm very excited this week because we're actually in her hometown in Ohio as she has driven up from Florida especially to show us some of the sights to see. So let's go check those Brother out. makes me wonder. So we'll say we've actually already visited some really cool places that we can't film them all. Some of them are on the members page, but Julie took me to this amazing dog facility, One Smart Dog. Yes. And that was owned by... Dr. Linda Randall. Ah, oh, amazing. So go check out that video. Uh, and then we also went to a friend of yours, Muffleheads Brewery. Muffleheads Brewery is a microbrewery, kind of out in the middle of nowhere in Wakeman, Ohio. Yeah. And so today, Julie, where are we going? We are going to... Kelly's Island on Lake Erie in Ohio here and we're at the lovely Kelly's Island Ferry which is a ferry that will take automobiles, dogs and people to the islands which is many people may know Putin Bay which is on South Bass Island. It isn't Putin Bay Island as many people think <laughs> um, but we're going to Kelly's Island today which is a smaller island on that chain of islands. And you can just see here, the ferry is coming in, so we best go get on board. Yes. Lawrence, consider yourself lucky that it's a weekday and unfortunately you have to work because there's no way Lawrence would get on this ferry. It was rocking all over the place on the way in. So yes. thanks for that, Julie. Today. All right, now Lawrence <laughs> will be jealous because we went into golf cart. Ah, only one way to see the island. Drive. And I'm letting Julie drive. This could be dangerous. Yes, you turned it on? Yeah. It's warming up. Ain't got no gas in it. Are these gas? <laughs> they can't these, be. These are gas. Ain't got no gas in it. I'm not entirely sure I've been in a gas one. I thought they were all battery operated. Oh no. Lots of gas ones. Yeah. I'm right here, driver. Right. It's fun. Okay. At the next exit, Take a right. Ooh, a mansion. Well, I guess the first stop is a winery. I'm going to... Julie's pulled some strings and uh, managed to get Kelly's Island Winery to actually open for us because it's off season. And uh, that's very kind. I would maybe shut the shoes down. All right, we have found the owner. This is Abby, who has lovingly opened the place up for us today. So we're gonna find out a little bit about the history of Kelly's Island Winery. Yes. Okay. So I'm third generation. Um, the winery was actually opened by my dad and my grandfather in the early 80s. My dad ran it up until about 10 years ago. Um, he's still actively involved in ownership, but day -to he doesn't do most of the day-to-day -day stuff. He's kind of behind the scenes. He does a lot of the gardens and whatnot. Um, Gorgeous It's kind of gardens. his favorite, favorite parts of the business <laughs> yeah. is what he handles, obviously. Um, so yeah, so we started in the 80s in that building over there, which is now the KI Cantina. Okay. Um, and then this building was built in 19... Oof. 94. Oh. I'm not going to hold you to it. Yeah, okay. yeah. I think, I think that roughly, I, I, I'm, I'm probably going to get that date wrong. He's going to be mad at me. But anyway. We can uh, overlay it. It's fine. <laughs> anyway, so um, we moved into this building in the 90s and started making all the wine in here. We've always made all the wine ourselves on the property. Um, we just recently replanted about three acres of dry red grapes. Wow, nice. Um, which we've been slowly integrating into some of our dry reds over the past couple years. Okay. Family run. My, my little brother works, has worked here. My sister has worked here. 
lots of family members. My cousin worked this this summer. We always have um, family members working here, and yeah. We're just so, Glass, you do you live on the island as well? Yes. How so much does that suck when you have to go over and get like actual groceries? Um, I don't mind it. It does. It kind of does um, suck having to leave, but I don't mind. Um, we go about once every two weeks and get like a grocery, like a grocery haul, and yeah, that's uh, not too bad. Not too bad. It's, but what it's about nice. the winters? Do you leave? No, I stay here in the winter. Me and my husband live here in the winter. My parents Ooh. travel a lot now, but okay. this is their main home as well. Um, it's it's it it's very um, gosh, boring, I guess is what I would say. <laughs> yeah, there's not Valley's a lot going on. The VFW, the market, and the library and post office are all that are open. So sounds peaceful though. It's pretty nice. It's pretty yeah. nice. You get to catch up a little bit from being so tired all summer. It's a nice trade off of time to work on hobbies. So we have a full school system here, yeah. Wow. So we have a K through 12. Okay. Um, actually, one of the girls, my, my little brother's girlfriend is actually a teacher here and he's the maintenance man at the school. Um, so currently, I think we have eight students in the school system here. A whole eight. Eight, well, no, five. <laughs> We're hoping to get three more up in the air. But uh, but yeah, so so eight students, three teachers, it's like public school system. So if you ever wanna bring your kids here, excellent school system, obviously, one-on-one -on -one learning. All right, well, I'm gonna have a quick look at the animals, but if I have any further questions, I yeah. will come find you. <laughs> yes, go find the goats. Millie's the one with the horns. She's the bully. It may have just taken us about 20 minutes to work out where the reverse is. It's down here. There we go, that's the noise we're looking for. <laughs> Hang on! Just drive it! Wine isn't helping. <laughs> Alright, stop two. We have come to Inscription Rock. Now, off the top of my head, between three and four hundred years ago, Ohio prehistoric Indians, believed to be of the Erie tribe, packed numerous inscriptions or pictographs on the top of the surface of this large native limestone rock. I just knew that information. It was ingrained into me. I don't see any human inscriptions. I just see coins. Coins and engravings. this arcade because I want to see if they have a penny machine. I don't think it's called a penny machine here, but we'll have a look. Oh, so cute. There was no penny machine, no penny machine. There's like some, uh, I don't know, just the claw, the claw things, they're popular. But this is really cute. So this is downtown... Kelly's. Kelly's. Island. Island. Uh, and there's just a bunch of little shops, really. And some golf, a little, Putt putt golf. I think we call it mini golf. Do we call it mini golf, Lawrence? I don't. I don't know. Lawrence is going to kill me when he's editing this because I have just bought myself a new jacket that I don't need. But look how cute. And it's only $24. So, you know, when we're out Mount Washington Cog Railway, I have two jackets now and he still has none. Wouldn't we wear a fleece <laughs> just underneath? Warm. <laughs> really? Just what I need in Florida. Exactly. <laughs> Been overtaken by the hot shots, the island hot shots. Yes. <laughs> I was going to say, so I will say these jacket purchases have been an excellent investment because actually when you're on the golf cart, it's pretty, it's a little nippy, a little nippy. It is the end of the season. We are at the end of the season. Look at my jacket. <laughs> we are now at the glacial grooves. Who knew all this fun stuff would be? There's a selfie spot. That's weird, isn't it? Anyway, this reminds me of the Flume Gorge, that was all glacier stuff, I think. Then I'm gonna get in trouble because I'm not reading anything. Anyway, this is pretty neat. So the only problem is every time we stop or walk around these quarries, now it's really hot again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 
And just off the top of my head, the total exposure now measures 396 feet in length with a maximum depth of about 15 feet and a width of 34 feet. I just knew that. What was that, Julie? What was your fun fact? That this actually was one massive rock, limestone rock, that the glaciers in the Ice Age moved from Canada. There you go. So that's fun, isn't it? This is very cool. I wish there was like water gushing through it and that we could like ride it. <laughs> that would be a Cedar Point ride. Ah, oh, yeah, true. And around 2.6 million years ago, long cycles of climate change from warm to cold allowed several massive glaciers. That's really loud. Rude. Chippy. To farm and flow from Canada to Ohio. Okay, so you can also <laughs> RV on the island. There is the, what is this called? Kelly's Island State Park. Oh, that was easy RV enough. Woo. Kelly's Island RV. So, but you have to take the ferry over. So that's pretty scary in an RV. Oh yes, it's a lot of fun if it's some waves. But it looks like I can see the electric here. I'm guessing it's electric and water only. I can't imagine the septic here. Quite empty, I didn't expect. Off season. Yeah. Also cheaper to camp here this time of year. But you could risk poor weather. Yeah. It's cute though, cute campsite. This island was founded by two brothers with the last name Kelly. Ah. Thus Kelly's Island. I'm gonna hat on because I'm a little bit cold now, but I have been insane before. We're at the Lake Erie Islands. Hmm? Definitely not looking for ghosts. Let's see what uh, she's no. on about. <laughs> anyway, there's lots of little cute knick-knacky shops here. Not ghosts. I think that woman thought I was a ghost hunter because I had a microphone oh, thing on. Here, that's right. But I think she thought I was a ghost hunter. We get that a lot. And it's like, no, no, it's just a microphone for the camera. I've had a lot of comments about this microphone today. Uh, <laughs> so I don't think it's uh, something people see very often. Okay, yes, so we're at the islands. Lake Erie Islands. And there are how many islands, Julie? I oh, didn't I know there was going to be a quiz. <laughs> <laughs> Beep. Well, it does say Ohio's half of Erie includes as many as 36 islands. Yes. Three receiving the vast majority of attention. Yes. So there you go. There's 36 to explore if you're out here, but we are at one of the main ones, Kelly's Island. So there's little trinket boxes here called Harmony Kingdom. And they had a Union Jack on. I've never heard of them, so please comment below if this is something that is in England because I've never seen them or heard of them. Animal shaped trinket boxes. Harmony in Kingdom. <laughs> I happened to mention to Julie that I've actually don't think I've ever driven a golf car. I've never driven a golf car. I'm always How? a passenger because I'm so, always the filmer. So this is going to be a terrible. Virgin golf cart experience. It's going to be e bikes all over again. Bad idea. Okay, you ready? This might be a bit chattery. <laughs> We're don't, going to die. Do I have a license for this? <laughs> yes. So you put it in your I'm general like, driver's license here in the United States. I like how you put your foot flat to the floor and I'm like, I will hover. We will go five miles an hour. <laughs> Come on, floor it. <laughs> no, because there's a stop You'll go sign. all of like 20 miles an hour. <laughs> you have brakes. See that thing that says stop? Yes. She turned without signaling, might have put. Oh, I think we've done. Am I meant to signal? Are we still filming? Yes. Because it looks, appears to have I know, but it's flashing red. Oh. This is the front screen gives up on life. Oh, the front screen gives up on life. Okay. <laughs> after, five, after like five seconds, it's like Natalie's no. driving, so the front screen has given up on life, and it's <laughs> sure it's going to die on the GoPro. It's have we got turn signals? You use your arm. This is. Oh, okay. And this is right. Do we not have a thing? No. Hazard. I am a hazard. Yes, we should <laughs> have the hazards on at all times when Natalie's driving. <laughs> Big truck coming towards me, and I'm just in the middle of the road. I have the right of way. No! <laughs> oh, I don't. You must stay on your side of the road. Okay. I thought. Which in. <laughs> you're not in England. It's not that side. <laughs> Doing the hazard <laughs> way. <laughs> We beat the ferry back, just. We do have to go and pay for the cart, and then 
we are going to be heading back. All right, we made it to the ferry in time. So we're going to end it there. This has been a fantastic day on Kelly's Island. Thank you very much, Julie, for showing me around and giving me the tour and an amazing winery, as you guys saw. Um, not really much else to add, I guess. Nope. I don't know where to the Italian place. Oh, yeah, we're going to go eat a lovely Italian. But you'll have to check out Instagram or something for that. So, um, Ciao Bella in Port Clinton. There you go. There's a, there's a good tip for you from a local. So we're going to end it. We will see you guys next week if you liked this hit the like button if you want to subscribe and uh, join the channel hit the bell button for notifications and if you want to become a brazier hit the join button to support a couple of tits in this case me and Julie this week yes. um, and then you become a member and you'll see all the behind the scenes stuff that we actually get up to that doesn't even make it to the film which is probably most of the stuff because Lawrence edits this so <laughs> otherwise we'll see you next week